I really appreciate you joining me again today. And we've got some breaking news stories coming from London. Thank you to Dave Nathan for his coverage from the scene of the murder in Highbury. First, I'm going to read the initial police statements and then we'll see what the media has to say about this murder and the latest being only 15 years old. Police were called to Highbury Fields on N5 shortly before 9 o'clock on Thursday the 4th of August to reports of a stabbing. Officers attended along with paramedics from the London Ambulance Service. A male believed to be 15 years old was found with multiple stab wounds and he was treated at the scene before taken to hospital where he died a short time later. A crime scene has been put in place and at the publication of this report there were no arrests in relation to this murder. And that is all the Metropolitan Police say initially and I'm going to go to my London newspaper now to make reference to their report where they say that a 15 year old boy was fatally stabbed and he told the police that I'm dying as he lay bleeding on the ground following a knife attack in a North London park. An eyewitness said that they saw the team being treated and comforted by the police after the attack in Highbury Fields. Metropolitan Police officers were quick to attend and multiple resources were dispatched by the London Ambulance Service but he died from his injuries after being rushed into major trauma at the hospital. It's been reported by other witnesses there was a large group of teens gathering in the area before the fatal stabbing. A woman called Chloe told my London newspaper at the scene she saw them running away and he hit the ground. He was stabbed and he was chased and then he fell down. I didn't see any blood but I thought he was alright and I thought he was still alive. The police were reassuring him that he'd be okay and he kept saying I'm dying and it was really upsetting. It took 10 minutes for the ambulance service to get there and two officers got to him straight away. A police van arrived and two marked cars. There were three police vehicles and they put up a cordon until the ambulance arrived. A fair number of people were standing around and there was a group of 20 odd kids and his mates I think ran away. Two girls also came up to the victim and held his hand as he lay dying. Other residents have reported they seen 40 teenagers in Highbury Park before the fatal stabbing took place and a woman called Ella told my London newspaper that she was on Highbury Fields at between 6 and 8pm and it was packed out with people having picnics. She then said that at around 7.30pm around 40 children aged between 14 and 15 all ran from one side of the park to the other and we heard them saying why are they running? There is still a large cordon in place outside the park and it stretches from half of the park all the way up to Highbury Terrace and the police presence is still visible. So this is the latest in a series of murders in London that have involved young children as well. And I send my condolences to the friends and family of the victim who we are yet to identify but I'll definitely give you an update if anything to do with that story very shortly. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update. I'll be back again within the hour for some more breaking news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And contact me at news at scarcitystudios.com for stories and inquiries.